Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you exactly how to get this very fall makeup look. I use a lot of e.l.f. products, very affordable products, so I'm really excited to share all of those with you guys. I will be sure to leave all of the products listed down below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel because I have so many new videos coming this month and next month, and it just means a lot to me for you guys to join the fam. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, just keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing so fall get ready with me. I have some new e.l.f. products that I wanted to share with you guys, and I just thought that this would be a fun little video. So I just filled in my eyebrows, and I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Um, mascara and it is in the shade medium uh, you guys know that I love using just that clear brow mascara but I have been using this recently and I really really like it I just drink a ton of coffee so if my hands <laughs> look a little bit shaky that's why I am really happy that you guys are all liking the videos I have so many literally so many videos coming up and that with vlogmas so i know i say this every single time but i know that i have new people watching my video make sure that you guys subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and leave down below any requests that you have because it is super helpful next i'm going to go in with the elf poreless primer putty i don't know if i've shared these products with you guys before but if i have i'm sharing them again because I have been obsessed with all of these. This primer goes on literally like a putty, but it really smooths out your pores. It feels really, really good on the skin. So I just really like to put this on my nose because I have very big pores on my nose. And I put a little bit just on my forehead, but I really like to concentrate it around this area just because it really helps my makeup go on really smooth and I think it looks really nice. So next I am going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And I am in the shade, I think it's says it right on front oh yeah m40 i didn't know if this was the shade right here so i wanted to make sure but yeah this is the shade m40 and i really don't wear foundation a lot but i have a ton of stuff to film today so whenever i have a filming day i do like to just add a little bit more foundation but the trick if you are wearing foundation is to really use a beauty blender because it picks up any extra products and it really blends everything out. It makes everything look really natural and seamless. I'm sure that you can tell, but my face really broke out last week. I normally don't get hormonal acne, but something happened. I haven't switched up my products or anything, so that's another reason why I do want to wear a little bit of a heavier foundation and just not my tinted moisturizer just to cover everything up. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the same concealer I always use. This is the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in shade Creamy Natural. So I am just going to go in with that concealer, but I do want to try a new concealer. So if you guys have any that you really like, go ahead and send me them because I really do want to try another concealer, but I feel like I'm so picky with concealers. That's why I've kept the same one. Like I keep using the same one, but I just put that under my eyes. I'm going to add a little bit to my chin and just a tiny bit around my nose Tonight I'll be kissing, but I don't really have a case. so next to set everything i'm going to go in with the perfect finish hd powder and you guys i am really liking the elf products i haven't used elf in a really really long time and i am really impressed with everything that primer is like one of my new favorites. I'm going to mention that in my favorites video, but 
I went a really long time without buying e.l.f. products, so I'm just really impressed with them, but I'm going to be doing a October favorites video. So I will mention a lot of these products to you, and I have some hair products and those kind of things to share with you guys too. Another new product that I'm going to use are these Chapstick Total Hydration sticks and I have talked about these. Sorry, I'm trying to turn them so you guys can see. I've talked about these before to you guys because I really like using the tinted one. Um, these aren't tinted, but this is the cooling peppermint. I've been using this lately and they are just so nice and so good. I have been loving those. I just put some chapstick on and now let's go ahead and move on onto the eyes. So I use this palette all the time, but if you guys really like warm tones or that, I would really look into the Too Faced palettes. This one is the Sweet Peach palette, and I'm going to share it with you guys today. I know I use this a lot, but as you can see, there's just a lot of bronzy tones, a lot of oranges. I really like the purple tones, but you can really create a lot with this palette, so that's why I really like to use it all the time. Um, I like to use bronzer in my crease or just some warmer tones, so I really do like using this. So first, I am going to go in to the shade Charmed, I'm sure. This is just a really great base color for a transition shade. So I really just like to use a very light hand on that just to get that really into the crease. And I like to get that blown out a little bit. And by blown out, I mean that I just like taking it up to my eyebrow a little bit. So I'm going to start with that. You just like their attention. And then next, I'm going to go in with a more orangey tone, and I'm going to use the shade right here. And this is called Super Yum. I really just think that this this look is just so pretty. It's what I've been doing lately when I wear a little bit more makeup. So this just adds a little bit more color. Okay, next with my finger, I'm going to go into the shade right here, and this is called Cobbler. This is just a really nice brown tone, and it has a little bit of shimmer, if you guys can see. And using shades like this, I just think that they work so much better, and you get more pigment out of them. Like, look at that. Look how pretty that is, if you use um, just your finger. So, that is what I'm going to be doing. I think that brown tones in that just on your eyes for fall is just so pretty. I love it. It's like <laughs> one of my favorite looks. And I also think having brown eyes and doing this, it just really adds to it and it just really enhances your eyes. So I'm going to just add that. And then another shade that I'm going to go in with is the shade Luscious right here. And as you can see, it has just a little bit more shimmer in it. And I'm going to take that and just go right into my inner corner and then just blow that out a little bit. As you can see, that is really pigmented, so I don't want to use a lot and I just want to focus it on my inner lid. And something that I have definitely learned over the years with makeup is less is more. And that's like my motto lately. I really used to pack the makeup on. And I do love doing like really deep makeup looks, but I've noticed, sorry, turn down the brightness a little bit. But the more that I notice that I just wear, or I use like a lighter hand, it just looks so much more natural and pretty. So I am going to go in with, again, the shade Cobbler. That's that um, brown shimmer shade and the shade Charmed. I'm sure that's the first shade that we started off with. And I am just going to go in with both of those and mix those together and I'm going to add it to my bottom lash line. Okay, next what I'm going to do is go into the shade Tempting, and this is just a black shade. And I am using this e.l.f. Small Angled Brush. It is just a really thin, fine brush, and I am going to take a little bit of this, pack it onto my brush, and I am just going to add this just as a liner to my top lash line. Now 
And then I'm going to make the tiniest wing with this. See, nothing crazy at all but i have been loving using a shadow to do a little bit of a liner because it makes it just look so much softer but as you can tell between this eye and this eye this eye just looks more defined it looks more smoky so i have been doing this lately even when i don't wear um like a full-on shadow look i've just been adding a little bit of a liner and I think it really just makes a difference. Okay, so as you can see, adding that liner just really defined everything. So I'm going to take... Um, my blending brush and I'm going to go in with that shade super yum that orangey tone shade and I am just going to add literally the tiniest bit and all that I am doing is just making sure that everything is nice and blended so once all of that is done I am going to curl my lashes and I am using the same mascara that I've been using for a while this is the voluminous superstar mascara the only thing that I wish that was different about this is that this was waterproof this isn't a waterproof mascara and for me I just prefer a waterproof mascara because I feel I know that I mentioned this before I'm sure but I just feel like a waterproof mascara works better for me but I really want to try to use this one up before purchasing another one. But I do like it. It's different. It has a primer. And I really do think that the primer works well. Okay, so now that the eyes are all done, I am going to go in with bronzer. First, I am taking the Hoola bronzer and I am going to just start carving out my cheekbones a little bit, adding this to my cheekbones and around my hairline. Okay, and then I am going to go in with this Bronze Goddess Bronzer by Estee Lauder, and I am just taking it on a fluffy brush, and I am just warming up my face a little bit more, adding a little bit to my nose. Then I'm going to wipe that brush off a little bit and then I am going to use the e.l.f. blush and this is in the shade blushing. Just a really nice pinky tone blush. When I do use blush, I really just like to focus on the apples of my cheeks and then I sweep that product back just for a more natural look. I'm 
You guys, I am loving my short hair. I wish that I would have cut it shorter sooner. I'm still figuring out exactly how to curl it and style it. So when I do figure that out, I am going to be filming some hair videos for you guys. But just take some time. <laughs> take some time when you get a new hairdo on how to style it and curl it and everything like that. So that is pretty much it for the makeup. The only thing left, well actually I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna add just a little bit more brow gel. I don't know why I do this, but I always add it before I start on my makeup and then I add a little bit after. It's just a little habit that I have. And then I am going to use this NYX lip liner pencil and this is in the shade Nude Pink. And I am just going to outline my lips and then add this all over. Next, I am going to go in with the Tarte lipstick in Rum Punch. And as you can see, this is just a really pretty nude lipstick. And I am just going to add just the tiniest bit of that. Okay guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this fall inspired makeup look. All of these products are very affordable, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that. As always, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one.